The verdict came down. This Melazine is guilty. The Udex defended the authority of Fontaine Law, but he did not confiscate the Melazine's medical kit. And so, the Fortress of Meripede gained a new little doctor. She still wore her hood and raincoat, even though it never rained in the fortress. Perhaps thanks to her human appearance, no one refused her treatment. She treated more and more patients, and her sentence grew ever shorter. Finally, the people of the fortress could not live without her, and though her sentence ended, she did not leave them either. Then one day, she received an invitation from the outside world. The location seemed familiar, and when she arrived, an old lady was waiting for her. She saw right through the Melazine's disguise, but didn't reveal it. Instead, she asked a question. Tell me, why do you think you gained the respect of so many people, despite being a Melazine? Because... I look like a human? <laughs> it's been 50 years, Sijuin. And you haven't aged a day. I think everyone knows you are not human. I finally found you, after all these years. I still remember, you know. It was you who saved me that night. <gasps> but... how? I was no longer a Melazine by then. Does it really matter if you're human or Melazine? <sighs> I remember the warmth of your palm. <sighs> it's quite unmistakable. And you know what? It hasn't changed one bit. You don't have to hide anymore, Sijuin. These days, everyone wants to make friends with Melusines. And I think that it's all because of you. I'm sorry I couldn't say this until now, but thank you, Dr. Melusine. <laughs>